everybody. Welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun. It's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. All right. So today, you know, uh, I've decided that I would like to look into um, our little personality figure known as Christopher Boozy. Lady C had a very interesting episode this morning. I love watching her. I know some people um, find her a little irritating sometimes. I think she's I think she's a card. I mean, she's just, I get such a hoot out of her. Anyway, so if you are a fan of Lady C, go check out her video this morning. She does talk a bit about him and some other very interesting items. But I would like to look at Christopher Boozy this morning. Um, I don't know a lot about him. I've heard of him. I know he was part of the Harry and Meghan um, uh, Netflix documentary, um, and I use, loosely use that word documentary, allegedly entertainment purposes only. Um, so I'll tell you what I know about him before we get into the reading. Um, but first let me introduce our deck. We're going to use the Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms deck. I really love this deck. It's very interesting. Um, another one of my subscribers, um, and viewers really liked it too, and I hope you managed to get it. I, I sent a link. I put a link out there. Um, I don't get anything for that link. I just uh, wanted to help you get that deck. Um, anyway, so let's take a look at our deck and we'll start shuffling and ask our questions. Um, today I'm actually going to do an onk spread, which I really like. The onk spreads are very interesting. They actually uh, managed to get um, deep down into some reasonings and true intents. I really like that. Um, and before I do, I want to also let you know that I brought out my amethyst cleansing stone. It's beautiful. I love it. And on here, I have a new pendulum. It blends in really well with the amethyst because it's also made of amethyst. And I'm, I have a cleansing there. So I'm going to try a little pendulum work at the end of this reading. Let's see how that goes. Um, anyway, so Christopher Boozy. Let's see what we can find out about him and what is going on with him. So Christopher Boozy, um, before I start shuffling, he is um, on the cusp of Taurus and Gemini. He was born Oh, let's see where are my notes here. He was born May 22nd, 1975 in Brooklyn. Um, and he established um, Bot Sentinel um, in 2018. He said it was in response to the 2016 election. He wanted to help uncover um, misinformation, um, fake news, that sort of thing. And in uh, let's see, in September 2022, there was a Rolling Stones article that came out in highlighting Christopher Boozy, and it highlighted his investigation where he said there were two dozen YouTube channels that were spreading misinformation, and they were targeting, in particular, Meghan Markle and Amber Heard, saying terrible, just such mean things about them. Okay. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but he didn't think so. So... The article was about that. Let's take a look at why Christopher Boozy is even involved in this whole issue with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. So, what in the world is going on with Christopher Boozy? Um, why did he get involved with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry? What was the whole purpose? What was the whole purpose of him establishing Bond Sentinel? Why did he get involved? What's his purpose? What in the world is going on? Um, he is uh, uh, now starting to, it appears, allegedly pull back from this whole story. Uh, a lot of the sugars are out there um, deleting their Twitter accounts. Um, Christopher Boozy starting to disassociate himself from Harry and Meghan. So what's the history? Why did he get involved? What happened? And why is he now pulling back? What's going to be the outcome of this? So that's kind of like what I want to find out about Christopher Boozy today. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about him. There's not a lot about him out there, which is interesting. And in fact, if you pull up the Wikipedia page, it first tells you that it doesn't exist and you have to go actually into Wikipedia and put his name in there. So to even pull up any information, I thought that was interesting. I have a, I have a tech background, so I'm always interested when things like that come up because that's in, the, in my experience and opinion that's just an attempt at hiding information so allegedly entertainment purposes only all right so let's see what we got here 
I still am um, shuffle challenged, so I'm going to be practicing. Someone suggested a waterfall shuffle. I'm going to try that and practice um, a little bit later tonight. See what I can come up with. Maybe my next reading will not have such painful shuffles. <laughs> anyway, Christopher Boozy. Let's see what we get on him. Let's see if this deck's going to talk to me at all. I'm not really getting too much. Oh, there we go. Starting to get a little bit of action here. Okay, this deck also has two extra cards. There's the Phoenix, which actually is right there. <laughs> How funny. It's like, hi. And this card is talking about emerging from the ashes of your former self. It's like a renewal. And the other card is the Celestial Weaver, where actions that you take interact with the universe and surround you. So that those were, whoa, okay, there we go. Those were two, oh, Queen of Pentacles, how interesting. Those were two, um, two extra cards that are in the stack. All right, so I think we're getting close to, oh yeah, okay, yeah. They're like, will you please be quiet and just get on with the reading? Okay, I absolutely will. Tarot deck, I will take your advice and just go with this shuffle right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are very chatty. All right, we're going to cut. Interesting cut. And I believe, <laughs> go like this. Got confused there for a minute. All right, so the onk spread is um, we start with our two triggering factors. These are the two factors that started this whole um an involvement for him with Harry and Megan. And then we're going to look at the past. And the only thing about this spread is it is rather large. So hopefully I can get it all on here. The past and the present. Past reasoning and the present reasoning. Um, and then we're going to go with the true meaning behind everything. The true meaning. And then we'll come up with a um, intermittent conclusion. Our next step. Um, the unexpected action that result that we uh, resulted in this an unexpected action that happened during this whole time frame and then what our final result is going to be so that is the onk spread i am really into egyptian history um so this spread really really calls to me all right what's our underlying energy Ooh, the king of swords okay so the king of swords mm. what an interesting underlying energy all right, so this is about um, truth, authority, intellectual power. So the whole underlying energy for this reading is going to be truth and authority. Wow. All right. Well, I like the underlying energy. That's a good one. All right, so we're going to put it just right here. There we go. Okay. So what was the first initial trigger for him becoming involved with this whole this whole interaction with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Why did he become involved with it? Oh, the Knight of Pentacles. He wanted money. He wanted wealth, financial independence, luxury. He wanted, he wanted to make himself financially independent. He thought this was going to be his meal ticket. This was the way he was going to make money. And he was going to do it by, by declaring that everything he's saying was true. He was the authority on everything. Everything he said was absolutely true. His truth. And it was going to make him a ton of money. All right. Um, and then that was the first, um, the first trigger. What was the second one? There are always two. What was the second one? Strength. Okay. This also represents the Leo card. You can see the Leo there. Um, the lion. So this typically, this can represent Megan. Um, sometimes it represents the crown. Um, so in this context, oh, okay. He wanted his truth about Megan to come out. He felt like, I want money, and she's going to be my meal ticket to help me get there. I'm going to talk truth about her, his truth, what he felt was true. And it's going to make him a ton of money. That's exactly why he got involved. He wanted money. And he wanted to, he thought that she was the way to do it. If he got involved with her, that was his meal ticket. That was his way to wealth. Oh, wow. Okay. How interesting. All right. So our third position is what's the past? What was the past that helped catapult this? That was the initial beginnings of this that made him think that he could make this happen. 
Ooh, the Nine of Wands in reverse. So we get a couple nines here. Nines in tarot talk about something that's nearing completion. So for the Nine of Wands, this in upright position, it's a burden. And in reverse, it's about a struggle, being overwhelmed by the burden. You can be feeling paranoid. Sometimes it's about a burden that's not yours. He's taking on a burden that's not his, and he's feeling overwhelmed by it. And it had to do with how he was dealing with the truth. How he was presenting the truth was turning out to be not what he expected. And now he's paranoid about the truth that he is telling. So, okay, so let's think about this. This was about the first thing that made him want to do it. So, okay, so actually I'm going to correct that. He felt that this burden was out there and he needed to tell the truth about it. He wanted to be able to present the truth, that he thought it was overwhelming that the truth was out there and it wasn't right, that people were saying what they wanted and that wasn't right. So that's why he wanted to, that was the underlying reason why he got involved with it and he that he thought he could make this work. Okay. What's the present reason that he still continues with it, that he's continuing with it? Or what's the present, Let me let me phrase this correctly, What's going on now that's involved with this whole effort that he started? This was the past reason. What's the reason right now? What's going on with it right now? Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so the Wheel of Fortune is about a turn of luck. If you're currently having good luck, it can turn back to normal or bad luck. If you're having bad luck, it can turn to good luck. So he's been ha he had been having a lot of luck with this, and now it's turning. And it's turning because the truth needs to be told. It's turning because the truth as he's presenting it needs to be corrected. Needs it that another it's going in the opposite direction now. His truth is not working anymore. Oh my goodness. So the truth that was going to get him money had to do with Meghan Markle. He wanted it because he, he felt like the truth out there wasn't the way it needed be, to be presented. He was putting another spin on it, and he was feeling overwhelmed and paranoid about it, and now it's turned. Now his luck has turned, and it all has to do with the way that he's presenting the truth. And I'm just going to say, okay, the truth is the truth. You don't have his truth, her truth, your truth, their truth. There is only one truth. And just because you put on a spin on it doesn't mean that something isn't true anymore. Just because you don't believe it doesn't mean the truth doesn't exist. It doesn't cease to exist just because people refuse to believe it or they say something else. Entertainment purposes only, that's my opinion. That is my opinion as a person. A 62-year-old person who's been around for a while. The truth is the truth. And that's all there is to it. All right, I'll get off my soapbox. Okay, now the next position is... What was the true intention? What is the true meaning of why he got involved? Why did he really get involved? Oh, the Nine of Cups in reverse. But look at all these nines. I'm only missing one nine here. Oh, my goodness. The Nine of Swords. That's all I'm missing. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I'm just missing the Nine of Swords. Wow. Okay, so in reverse. All right, so Nine of Cups upright is about a wish come true. And in reverse... The true meaning is that his wish is not going to be coming true. He felt like his wish was not coming true. That the true meaning is his wish to be wealthy and prestigious and, and financially independent is not going to come true. Dissatisfaction. And it has to do with the way he was telling, the way he was talking, the things that he was saying did not bear any resemblance to the truth. He spun it the way he wanted to, and it's destroyed his wish to come true. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. This tarot deck is always so direct. <laughs> That's why one reason I love using it. Um, all right. What's the conclusion, our inter intermittent conclusion, for stuff that's going on? What's, what's the conclusion right now? Justice. Wow. This is a very powerful deck. Look at it. We've got some Arcanas here too. 
Justice, strength, the wheel of fortune. Oh my goodness. All right, justice in tarot is something that cannot be escaped. The judgment has already been made and it cannot be changed. Oh my goodness. Justice, the truth will be declared. You can't hide the truth. The truth is always there. And the justice now for the way that it's been handled is, is coming out. Oh my goodness. That's probably why all these people are deleting their accounts on Twitter. Because the truth that they've been spinning is not the way it is. And justice is now coming out for all of them. Oh my goodness. I got goosebumps. Wow. Okay. Uh, what's our next step? The next step from Christopher Busey's point of view. What's his next step? The Five of Cups. This is about regret. There's my dog. She went by. <laughs> regret. Disappointment. Looking. At, and the thing about the Five of Cups card is that you can see the three cups in the background that are spilled. And that's all the person is looking. Actually, the two cups that are spilled. He doesn't see the ones that are still upright. Still opportunities available to him. All he can see is regret and failure and disappointment over the ones that were spilled. He can't see his way out of it. So he's going to express, express regret and disappointment for how he presented the truth, how he presented his authority on what he was saying. He's regretting it. And that's his next step to declare how much he regrets it. And whether he's going to say whether he was wrong or he just, you know, if, if he's going to reveal his, the true intention on why he presented the truth the way he did. He's, I'm not sure if he's going to expose that, but he is going to say that he is very regretful of it. He did not mean to cause this issue. He's regretful. It's a disappointment and a failure. Oh, wow. All right. What was the unexpected action that came out of all this for him? Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. The, he had he had new um, financial opportunities. Of course, he created Bot Sentinel. He also has another social media um company I've, i forgot the name of it that he he just recently launched but he he got some financial opportunities out of this new and unexpected ones um and again it's going to be talking about information and truth so whether he's going to learn his lessons from the past and now present truth as it really is is up to him but that was an unexpected result that he had more opportunities a new financial opportunity to expand on information and truth. All right, and what's the final result? What's the final result of this whole uh, this whole interaction that he had? The sun. The sun is about bringing things to light. It can be about success and optimism, but combined with the with King of Swords, the truth is now going to come out. It's going to be exposed. It's going to be brought to light. So if anything was being hidden, anything was being spun, any, any, anything that was being talked about that wasn't true, it's going to come out. It's going to be exposed. Exposure of the real truth. That's what this whole reading was about. Wow. All right. So he got into this because he wanted wealth and financial security he felt the way to do it was through um, talking about Meghan Markle, allegedly entertainment purposes only, talking her truth. And the past, he, um, he was struggling with the burden. He felt like the burden of the truth wasn't being told and he wanted to tell it. And then um, what's currently happening? There's been a turn of luck. He had some good luck going on. Now it's turning. What was the true intention? He wanted, he wanted his wish to come true, and it's, but it's not. All his wishes never came true, and he was hoping this one would. So he's had a history of wishes not coming true. That's why. That's why he did this. That was the true intention of it, to make his wish come true, that all they've failed in the past. What's the conclusion going to be? Justice. The truth. Justice is going to have its day. And there's no escape from justice. Um, and what's the next step? Five of Cups, he's going to say how sorry he is, is so regretful. Um, he's disappointed that everything failed. Unexpected result was he got some financial opportunities. And what's the outcome? The truth will come out and be exposed. 
Oh my goodness. Well, that was fun. That was a very interesting reading. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is I'm going to try to work the pendulum. I, I've just been practicing a little bit with this. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with pendulum work, but let's see what comes down here. I do have a couple questions that I want to ask. All right, so I have my pendulum that's been cleansing. I have this beautiful pendulum mat here. Um, and we'll put it up right here so that we've got, there we go. All right. So let's see what the pendulum has to say about some of the questions that I have. Very pretty, really pretty, really pretty pendulum. All right, so the, I'm gonna, just gonna ask a couple questions here. All right, so. Um, so is Christopher Busy going to admit the truth about what he did? Is he going to, is he going to admit the truth about what he did? Oh my goodness. That's a yes. He is going to, oh my goodness. This is very powerful. <laughs> oh my heavens. Okay. Um, hmm. Is he going to. Is he going to explain, is he going to implicate Meghan Markle in this? Is he going to implicate Meghan Markle in everything that he did? Is he going to implicate her? Oh my goodness, look at that. That's so powerful. I'm not doing anything and it's, it's answering my questions. This is so amazing. I've seen people do pendulum work and I'm just, I'm so, I'm so amazed. Um, Okay, so he's going to, my hands are actually shaking. He's going to implement Meghan Markle. Okay, and my final question is going to be, is he going to actually expose, is he, let's see, what was my question going to be? Um, is he now going to come out and be a social, uh, social media influencer in telling the real truth? Is he going to tell the real truth with his, with his new social media platform? Is he going to tell the real truth? Is he going to tell the real truth with his social media platform? Oh, he is. Well, well, hang on. I guess it's clearing. Is Christopher Boozy going to tell the real... No, he's not. Is he going to tell the real truth? No, he's not. <laughs> is that right? Is he going to tell the real truth with his social media platform? Is he going to tell the real truth? No. No. He's going to use it just to keep spinning stuff. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. How interesting. Okay, guys, I'm going to be playing with pendulums way more often. That was really cool. Um, thank you so much for being here with me on this reading and doing the pendulum work. Um, if you are new subscribers, thank you so much. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate all my subscribers. I'm over a thousand. I can't thank you guys enough for that. If you're not a subscriber, well, you need to subscribe because you know you love my channel and you want to be here for more readings and more pendulum work. Um, so press that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't mix the miss the next reading. Thank you so much, guys. I am going to have more readings coming out. I'll have another one for tonight and a couple more for tomorrow. And I'm going to be opening up my channel to private readings. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link for you soon. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.